Hey everyone, welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today we've got a fascinating legal drama to unravel. It's about Brian Steele, the attorney for Atlanta rapper, Young Thug, and why he almost had to spend Father's Day in jail. But before we dive into it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content. So what happened exactly? Let's break it down into three key points. Key point one, the contempt of court incident. Brian Steele was held in criminal contempt by Judge Ural Glanville. This all started when Steele approached the bench after lunch, revealing he knew about an ex parte conversation that had taken place earlier that morning. The conversation involved the judge, prosecutors, and a witness named Kenneth Lil Woody Copeland, who allegedly admitted to killing Donovan Nutt Thomas Jr. Steele argued that this constituted coercion and witness intimidation, as he and his client had a right to be present for such discussions. Key point two, the consequences. Judge Glanville demanded to know how Steele obtained this information, but Steele refused to disclose his source, the judge gave him five minutes to reconsider, but when Steele stood his ground, he was declared in contempt and ordered into custody. Steele was sentenced to serve 20 days in the Fulton County Jail, specifically spending the next 10 weekends there. Key point three, the legal battle. Immediately after Glanville's ruling, Steele filed an appeal. He argued that the information he revealed wasn't confidential by any court order, and that the punishment for contempt was illegal and inconsistent. The Georgia Supreme Court agreed to hear his case and granted an emergency motion to stay the contempt order, allowing Steele to remain out of custody until his appeal is heard. Let's look at some examples to understand this better. Imagine you're in court and you find out crucial information was discussed without your knowledge. You'd feel it's unfair, right? Steele felt the same way and stood up for his client's rights, even at the risk of his own freedom. So what's next for Brian Steele? The Georgia Supreme Court will eventually hear his appeal. Until then, he remains out of jail, continuing to fight for his client, Young Thug. It's a clear reminder of how complex and intense legal battles can get, especially in high-profile cases like this. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, Make sure to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the Red Carpet Reup for more updates on this case and other exclusive content.